Instead of going to school, five-year-old Marjan scavenges with her 10-year-old aunt, a half-hour hike away from their home. A heavy burden for such a small child, but a necessary one. The trash she collects is what her family uses as fuel for cooking and to fend off Kabul's bitter cold. It's an epic struggle for someone so young. Last winter, Marjan's baby brother froze to death. The fire went out at night. It was dark and cold, and the baby died, she remembers. I saw him dead, and I was very sad, and I cried. Her mother is afraid this winter will claim another of her children, Marjan's younger sister. Of course I am worried about my children's health, Zarkharida tells us, sitting in the doorway of the one-room mud hut they call home. The weather is very cold, and my roof is made of plastic. This blanket is all that Zarkharida has to keep herself and her little girls warm. The three of them huddle underneath it every night. She stitched it together herself out of scraps of clothing that were given to her as charity. Marjan's mother made the mud bricks that were used to build the add-on to this home here after her husband was killed in a, in a family feud. She came here to live with her brother. And there's, of course, the trash that the girls are collecting. And we were watching even the little one. She's probably around a year old. She's already learning how to survive, coming here, collecting the trash, running over to the fire with it. And then here we have uh, water that the family collected. This is the water that they were using to actually make the mud bricks that they used to make their home. Gives you an idea of how cold it is, though. The water inside the bottles is a frozen block of ice. There's no roof on this house. There's no actual doorway, and there's no real window. All they have is this tarp. So, of course, the heat does not stay inside the room. It just escapes, and that, they were saying, was one of the main reasons why their little boy died last year. They just couldn't keep him physically warm enough. They end up burning mostly plastic. It's what's most readily found, but obviously plastic burns through very quickly, and it's really difficult to try to conserve the heat off of it. Marjan is constantly rubbing her hands together, grimy and cracked from the frigid cold doing all she can to stave off the chill, but it's never enough. A meal is scraps of bread and a glass of weak tea. Marjan's father was killed in a tribal feud over land. The family moved in with relatives already struggling to make ends meet. Even though she's never set foot in a classroom, she dreams of being a teacher. But in one of the poorest countries in the world, this little girl is responsible for her family's survival.